Yo my slams, welcome back to another video. Today in this video, I'm going to be going over a few of some simple basic lighting techniques that you guys can use in your film or photography. In this video, I'm going to be going over four point lighting, split lighting, Rembrandt lighting and spot lighting. Four point lighting consists of a fill light, a key light, a backlight and a background light. Four point lighting is similar to three point lighting in that the position lights can be used to present the subject however the user wants, whilst also controlling shading and shadows for different effects. Each of the four lights have their own specific purpose and allow the subject to be well lit with the addition of depth to build emotion. The key light is the main light of the subject and should be positioned so that it illuminates as much of the subject as possible. Its primary purpose is to create the exposure within the scene or shot. The light being enforced on the side of the subject means that there will be dark shadows on the other side. This is where a fill light is introduced. The fill light fills in the darker, shadowed areas that the key light cannot reach. Utilising a diffuse light as the fill light creates a soft and even effect. A good choice as the purpose of fill is to assist the key light in evenly lighting the subject. This will also help to avoid any unintended chiaroscuro effects. The purpose of a backlight is to separate the subject from the background. It adds dimension and contrast to the shot and serves to help focus the viewer's attention on the subject by highlighting the outline. Split lighting is a lighting technique that lights up half of a subject's face while leaving the other half in the shadow, essentially splitting the face. This splitting effect is achieved by a light source that is perpendicular to the subject, illuminating directly from one specific side. Here we see an example from the movie Fight Club. What do you want me to do? You just want me to hit you. Come on. Do me just one favor. Why? Why? I don't know why. I don't know. Never been in a fight. You? No, but th that's a good thing. No, it is not. How much can you know about yourself if you've never been in a fight? The split lighting in this scene causes the subject's face to be split in half between the light and shadow. This creates a heavy depth and truly adds to the drama of the scene. It could also imply that the main character is being hidden in the darkness, which is keeping the audience from knowing why they are doing this to their friend. Rembrandt lighting is a basic lighting technique that creates a triangular shadow under a subject's eye. This style of lighting is commonly used with one light source and a reflector. It is a very common and popular technique due to its simplicity and naturalistic effects it produces in one shot or scene. One side of the face is well lit due to the light source while the other side is shrouded by shadows which adds geometric shapes upon the subject's face. A spotlight is a bright light that illuminates a small area with the area often being a subject that draws the audience's attention. It comes with a variety of light shaping features that can be used to get a wide range of lighting effects including soft and hard lighting. There is glass in front of the light that almost acts as a magnifying glass and it directs light to a certain point. Different shaped objects can be placed in front of the light to create different effects that can change the environment of a scene and or evoke certain emotions. Taken from the film The Exorcist, an example of spotlighting can be seen during the priest's arrival. The spotlight used here highlights the priest arriving outside the possessed house and shows his importance in the film. The light is also used to show the priest and us, the audience, where the possessed child is, which is the top middle room. Hopefully now at this point in the video, you guys have a basic understanding of a few simple lighting techniques that you can use in your film, photography or whatever else you want. 